Photo will be seen tonight. Can I see Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
So where do we where do we start? Just the just the minister PS na direct report comes report comes. So men nang kaba nang tamen tayo. Na yez na ni zapi ang sama. We're waiting for our colleagues to put the The minister is ready with you, huh? Colleagues, the minister is ready when you are. I want it for you. This honorable minister, the much awaited anticipation is finally over. There's been a lot of anxiety, expectation, excitement with a lot of our youth population. The anxiety size because of uh, the much awaited tankers. Uh, you know, we have um, actually an unemployment crisis in our country. The vast majority of our youth are not empowered, they have no jobs, uh, they have no businesses. So, so this is an opportunity that the ministry has presented to the vast majority of Zambians. Uh, a lot of them are worried to say, no, uh, what is the criteria? Is it to the affiliation to politics or is it uh, privileges because you're coming from a rich family? So there's all these speculations going on, sir. So I think we have an opportunity today to try and uh, communicate uh, to the vast majority of our populace, who are the youth, uh, as we uh, begin to empower them with these tankers. Yes. Thank you so much, yes. Mm. First and foremost, I want to say that, um, yes, for me, I want to shake myself with Shakman, because when we were in the conference room, I think Shakman is associated with going forward or moving <laughs> forward. And I think the new Don government, the new PM itself, our, our motto is eh, moving forward. So we are very happy to associate ourselves with Shakman, whose motto eh, is more like the same. UPND. Now, I want also to say that uh, yes, social media is there to make sure that people are informed uh, and uh, accurately so. But uh, I want also to advise that uh, in New Dawn government, we have uh, uh, open door policy. For those that uh, do not understand, for those that uh, do not know what is happening. It is important for them. If one, they can come to the ministry. Secondly, they can even call. We've given you our numbers. So sometimes you wonder issue, issues on social media. Uh, trucks have been hidden. Trucks have been abandoned. And the ministry is just watching. I think today I'm happy to say that we've seen the trucks. The trucks are now in Zambia. They are now in Lusaka and ready for distribution. And I want to take this opportunity to also talk to those that may not understand and know what we are planning for them, especially the young people all over the country. I am aware that uh, our colleagues, the Patriotic Front, the previous regime, were very segregated in the way they were managing the, the, the empowerment program. They were segregated they were segregative again in the way they were uh, giving out empowerment, uh, empowerment drugs, for instance, buses and other things, because they were looking at the uh, forehead of someone. If it is not written PF, then you cannot access uh, this empowerment program. But as New Dawn government, I always say we are doing things differently, and I want to assure every youth that we are going to make sure that these youth are empowered. We may not give everyone at one time. That is not possible. That is not possible, and I want also to make sure that this statement needs to be addressed. The 50 drugs, how many young people do we have in this country? 
if we were saying safety pay cooperative, and this is the more, the more reason why we've been advocating for young people to come up with cooperatives. Because if you empower one person, <laughs> we'll have a backlog of unemployed youths. But where we have 30 youths in a cooperative, when we empower 50 trucks, we'd have empowered 1,500 young people. I think that is, that, that is our objective. So for those that are saying even, even these, these trucks will go, I know what the PF is saying, because that's what they were doing. They are now insinuating that these trucks will just go to UPND cadres. For us, as long as someone is a youth, is a Zambian, he, can be, he or she can benefit from the empowerment program that we are offering as a ministry. So what I want to urge those people, those that who still live in denial, let them go and form cooperatives. We've been advocating for this. Continue making cooperatives, including you, the media. Some of, some of you are young people. You, you, you can as well benefit from these empowerment programs. You should, not, you should not only bring cameras to me, you should as well bring proposals of how best you can try to participate in the economic development of this nation. Because you are young people. I thought I should, I, I should mention. Now, the distribution, how it, will, how it will be done. Because initially, or previously, these empowerment programs were only benefiting young people along the line of rail. So what we intend to do and what we are going to do is to make sure that these tankers benefit almost all the 10 provinces of this country. So we are 50 tankers and definitely what we will do, we are going just to divide uh, 10 provinces into 50 tankers, meaning each, each province may have five tankers. And I think no one, even from the rural area where I'm coming from, Kaputa, will be able to complain that this empowerment program didn't reach Kaputa. Because we would have dispersed these all 50 trucks into every province. So I thought I should also mention that. But I need also to say one thing. I know there are two provinces that really benefited from the first phase of the 50 tankers that came. So if at one point we become biased, we may say at least instead of five, they may get three. So that those that didn't benefit can well as well benefit. So this is what we are trying to, to do as a ministry. And for those who always go on social media, trying to discredit my ministry, as long as we are doing the right thing, we will not fear uh, us being written, written for social media or what, because we are doing the right thing. What is wrong for me to write a letter, for instance, talking to a certain old marketing company, to make sure that they pay, they pay, they pay money to the ministry. What is wrong with that? It is my, it is within my jurisdiction to remind those that have not paid that there is need for you to pay back. So some of these leakages that you are seeing in the Tankandu signed on the letter where we wrote to a certain old marketing company that you need to pay. For me, that is very good because there is nothing that we are hiding. Let me also try to clear one thing. There is an issue of Kapesika, for instance. I think we need to call a spade a spade. The tankers, the 30 tankers, which are under Kapesika, it's not uh, tankers for Kapesika. Those are tankers for the ministry one, and also in conjunction with uh, the cooperatives. What we've done as government, we know, even people out there, some, some of them may say, but if you give out these tankers to the people that do not even understand the whole marketing industry, how are they going to, to operate? We have answers. The more reason why, if we give a tank for a to a cooperative, we know that they may not have experience. But I am also one person who has been advocating for if you want, if you are looking for a job, if I tell you that no, we need to, uh, we need the young people with two years experience, what the experience. But how do you attain that experience if we don't give you an opportunity? So we are giving an opportunity to the young people. They're not looking at experience. All we are doing is we are going to incubate the young people, the cooperative, to an all marketing company so that they grow together. By the time it clocks one year, they will be able to understand what it obtains in the all marketing industry. And then they will be independent. That's what we are doing. So for me, we'll continue uh, in that path because that is the right thing to do. Kapesika, because I know in social media everywhere is Kapesika, is an all marketing company. And when we give these uh, tankers, we we'll tell those 
cooperative to look for an oil marketing company that will incubate them too. And if those 30 had found Kapesika to be incubated with, we don't have a problem. In fact, let me again take this opportunity. This is the only person who has been paying. Ever since I came into this office, I didn't find any payment from the tankers. My coming in, we have now collected 9 million from Kapesika, the ones that people are talking about. We have also collected 1.5 million from Mount Meru. Mount Meru has 18, 18 tankers. Kapesika has, has 30. We have also two tankers that belong to Juba. And we have not collected for now anything. So if I write to Juba that they should pay, what wrong have I, have I committed to be all over social media that Mr. Nkandu is, is, now, is now trying to, to, to I don't to favor some oil marketing companies. We we'll continue because we have a duty, we have a ministry to run. And whosoever got empowerment funds from the ministry should pay. That's why you are seeing me all everywhere. I'm in Copper Belt, I'm in Southern Province. I'll be now touring three provinces, that is Muchinga, eh, Ruapula, and Northern Province, to make sure that we appreciate what we gave out as a ministry. And also to share with those that we gave out to the challenge that, that they are facing and see how best those would be resolved. I think that, that, that is our preoccupation for now. So I thought I should mention Kapesika because it's always on, on social media. It does not own any tanker. Those tankers are owned by cooperatives who thought they should be incubated with Kapesika. Some, some of the young people, the, the cooperatives, also thought it was wise for them to go and incubate in, be incubated with Mount Meru. And if this tankers, if a certain cooperative says want to be incubated with Puma, we don't have a problem with that. They want to be incubated with Toto. We don't have a problem with that. It's the cooperative that chooses who they, who they are comfortable with. So I thought I should make sure. My coming here also, I've, I've learned one or two things, and I'm very happy uh, from, from, from King Long. That uh, I think what, what, what we have between King Long and government, I think we should appreciate it. Because apart from empowering youth with tankers, King Long is also empowering the young people with skills. So far, we're about to sign an MOU where 50 young people should come here and also uh, be given skills so that they can now maintain these, 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 these trucks. I am aware that we have an engineer from, from China who is here, stationed here now to start uh, imparting knowledge into our young people. And you know when they, uh, they have that knowledge, they will go and make their own workshops. This is the empowerment what we are talking about. So for those young people who want to be, uh, who want to associate with, with themselves with the, with, the, with the ministry in terms of becoming mechanic, me, me, uh, uh, to, they want to do mechanics, they are able to come to the ministry and will facilitate for them to come to this to, to this workshop, King Long Motors, so that they are imparted with the knowledge that they may desire. So for me, and on behalf of the New Dawn government, we are very happy. And I think maybe from now on, people will be able to know that uh, we are on top of things and we'll make sure that uh, the deserving cooperatives are given. You may, you, may, you may ask a question, but how are we going to do it? We are 50 tankers, which will be given out to provinces. The provinces also who consult members of parliament who consult members of parliament so that we look for those viable cooperatives that we, we can give these out tankers to. So for me, everything is in place and come, come I think, come January, these tankers will be, will be gone. And another important thing, you, you are also aware that the oil marketing industry has been dominated by foreigners. We need to appreciate that. Now, here is a government who wants now to make sure that the young people take a center stage in the oil marketing industry. Because now we have 100 tankers, isn't it? Yes, yes, and we, we intend to procure more so that the market is saturated, so that we don't have fuel shortages. You know we are aware that the Indian is limping. We are very much aware. So we need to procure as more tankers as possible. So obviously, this is not the end. We'll continue procuring more. For those that, those that may not benefit uh, this time around, they will benefit some other time. 
because we are we are sensitive with the fact that we have a lot of young people who are not employed. So we are doing every everything possible to make sure that more of the of the young people are absorbed from the unemployment levels. So thank you so much, uh, uh, who, uh, for this gesture, and uh, I can assure you, we'll continue working with you so that the young people can benefit from the government of China and also the government of the Republic of Zambia. After all, they voted for us to make a difference, and this is the difference we are trying to make. So let us, let us, let, let our young people be patient. Rome was not built in a day. A thousand miles journey starts with you, one step. So this is what we are doing. So let them be patient. We'll make sure that we give them what they desire. Thank you very much. Thank you.